All right, welcome back to the Roblox course. And in this lecture, we're going to take a look at the Surface GUI. Now, we've seen the Billboard GUI, we've seen the Screen GUI, and now off to the Surface GUI. Uh, we're just going to create a new part again inside of our workspace here, and we're going to call this the, the Screen... No, that's actually the Surface. Yeah, it's a Surface example. And the Surface example is... Uh, let's actually resize this a little bit, so make it like a like a tall brick. Yeah, I like that. And then we're going to add, of course, the GUI, and that's going to be the Surface GUI. Now, we're going to immediately go for the Surface GUI. We're immediately going to look into the sizing here is a little bit different. As you can see, this is pixels per stud. We're just going to keep it like that for now, and then we're going to take a look at what that means later. So right now, let's just add a frame again. And as you can see, all of a sudden, we actually have a frame here on this part. So if we look at this, there's a frame there. And if we then put in a text label into the frame, then it's going to be inside of it. Once again, the frame should probably be resized to something like this. So we can actually resize it to 1, 1. So now it's going to be the size of the entire surface. And inside of here, we can always also do 1 and 1 for the label, and then it's going to be have the uh, entire size. Maybe X is only going to be um, 0.25, and the Y is going to be 0.25 as well, something like that. And let's actually do it something like this, so that it's sort of a, um, you know, a heading. I like that. And then inside of the text label, we're just going to also make it that the text scales. So the text is actually bigger, and then we're also going to change the text to something like, I'm a block, or I'm a part, I guess, makes more sense. I'm a part. I like it. Yeah. So I think that the Surface GUI uh, should almost be, you know, self-explanatory in what it does. It's basically just a GUI that d is displayed at a certain surface of a part. We can, of course, change the surface by changing the face. So at this moment in time, its face is the front. But we can also say, for example, top, and then it's going to be displayed at the top here. So as we can see, now it's displayed at the top. But I think that the front is actually fine. Right, it's pretty good. Right, so there are a um, there are two sizing modes, pixels per stud and fixed size. Now, I would personally say that pixels per stud is actually the better sizing mode for us right now. Um, yeah, I think that that's better. Let's just quickly go in game and let's see um, how it looks. So as you can see, we have the our example part, and then I am a part, and then it gets smaller and smaller as well. But you can still see that there's something written there. And as we get closer, it doesn't really scale anymore, because it is scaled towards the size of the part. Right. Yeah, so that's, um, I mean, almost basically it for the, for the surface GUI. It's basically just a GUI on a surface, while the billboard GUI is something that floats above a part I would say, and the screen GUI is, of course, a GUI for the entire screen. Just to give a short overview of both the Surface and the Billboard GUI. And yeah, that was basically it. And I hope that this was informative to you. If there are any questions, of course, always feel free to ask and I'll be sure to respond. And yeah.